Hi guys, we are going to make um, our second head, head ear warmer in this series, and it is this one. Now these are just a combination of stitches I put together, and if I do a pattern from somebody else, I will tell you who it comes from, but these were it's one of my first ones I made, and I was just experimenting how to get different textures, and just a rundown, what we're going to be using is the, I did single crochets, a cross stitch, and a cobblestone stitch. Now, this is not the same as the griddle stitch. It's also known as a cobble stitch. So, if you, you know, thinking, don't think it's that one, because this is a little bit different. It's a little bit more of a, a, a bobble effect. And then it repeats but I thought what I would do today is go over the stitches themselves just so you're familiar with what I'm doing because I think I'm going to make it in this pretty bright pink uh, purple and blues and this is an unforgettable I got this from a Goodwill haul a while back and I think it'll make a pretty bright cheerful uh, ear warmer and um, I wanted to try that and so I was we're going to show you these stitches now so we can kind of make it easier then because I know it's dark and then you can kind of plan out or be familiar with what we're doing now the whole um, stitches of course the single crochet it, it, it doesn't matter the multiples it's uh, but the cross stitch and the cobblestone stitch is in multiples of two. So when you measure your headband or the what you need, you want to make sure you're meeting that goal. Now, I made this one 20 to 21 inches long. But you also, this one has a lot of stretch. You want to take that in consideration of the yarn you are using so if it's very stiff you might have to add another set of stitches to it so let's go ahead and work with the cobblestone this is one may not have been worked by you may not have used I think it's very pretty it's familiar with a lot of other stitches so it's very easy to learn so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that would just well let's do a little bit more 12 13 14 16 okay so i have 16 i'm going to chain one we're going to look that for our turn chain and i'm going to go make a uh, row of single crochets so that's what we're going to do for this one now when we do the headband this does rest on a foundation of single crochets because it has it before the stitch and after it so we're just going to do that so i'm going to go to the end and then we'll turn around and start making that cobblestone stitch okay so i have done my first row here and there's 15 or 16 rather i'm going to chain one and in this very first stitch i'm going to put a single crochet and then we're going to be alternating these two stitches. We're going to make a treble, so it's wrap around twice. If you haven't had time to use this one, we want to wrap it around twice. We go through, grab some yarn, and we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So we're doing it three times. And then we're just going to make another sing whoops, single crochet and a another treble one two we're gonna go in we're gonna grab us some yarn and now you're gonna have four loops on your hook we're going yarn over go through two now you have three yarn over go through two now you have two and then yarn over go through the last two and then single crochet and this is what we're going to do all the way across all right 
Okay, so I did go to the end. And as you're going to see here, let me pull this up. We're going to have our sets. We ended with a treble. Now, if you're making this in a blanket, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to make single crochets all the way across. And yes, we are doing this in the headband because before and after this cobble stitch, we are doing single crochets. So this is why this really works really well. Okay, so we're just going to do this. And all these little texture bumps will be, they show up on the back, back side. So when you turn it over, there it is. We do a row of single crochets. And then you just, if you were doing a project just with the cobblestone, you would turn and do the same thing that we just did in row two. So it's a two row repeat of a row of single crochets and then a row of the combination of single crochets and treble crochets. And I hope that helps you with the cobblestone stitch. Now we do two rows with this, but it's, um, nope, take that back. We do one row because this is in the middle of our headband. This is going to designate the center of our headband. And so this is all you have to do in making that. So I hope that helps. So when we do the project, this will give you a little bit of detail or an idea of how we're doing it. And that it's very that it is helpful and remember if this is a blanket or a different type of project a baby blanket or something you're doing you would just chain one and turn and you would start the single crochet treble single crochet treble all the way around so here is what the middle of our headband stitch is going to look like and then what i'm going to do is show you um go over the cross stitch one we're going to do and we have that on each side of this headband so you can see here our cobble is in the middle and the next stitch we're going to do is going to be a row of cross stitch and that's what you see right there so there's two rows of single we're going to cover the cross stitch pattern here and then two rows of um or might be one row of single crochet and then our middle and then we repeat it the opposite way okay guys so i hope this helps and when we get started here it'd be listed maybe a little bit more familiar and we will see you for the cross stitch up next okay guys so if you saw the first part of the stitch series what we're going to use for this headband of course it's a cobblestone well, now we're going to work on the cross stitch and this is darker, so it is a little bit harder to spot, but it is there. Let me see if this one's a little bit easier. Oh, things are falling. So here is one that's a little bit different, and you can kind of see it's more bulky yarn. So you can kind of get a better definition of your cross stitch. And then there's our bobble. So I think that helps a lot. You can see your cross stitch. So I'm hoping that helps you at least get an idea what it looks like. And again, using this darker yarn, I was a little afraid that it may not show up as much. And you can see it better maybe in here. It's a cross stitch there. It's a little bit lighter. I love this yarn. It is so soft. I'm not even sure what kind it was. Uh, I wish I could tell you, but it's very soft. It might be Karen Simply Soft, after I'm thinking about that. Um, when I wrote the pattern, I did fail to um, say what kind of yarn I used. So we're just going to use this cream color yarn. And we're just going to make 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I'm going to turn chain one. I, if I found the best way to making these is having a base row of single crochets. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm just going to make a base row of single crochets. This is done in a multiple of two. So when I get done, I still should have 16 and I'll see you back for the actual stitch. 
All right, so I have my 16 stitches. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now, I'm going to chain one more because I'm going to use double crochets. So these are the stitches we're going to work into. We're skipping one and going through the next one. So we're going to do that all the way down. We're going to skip one, do a, a double crochet. And then we're going to come back. And if you want to interlock these cross stitches, you can go behind and grab yarn. But this is not an interlocking one, so we're going to go in. It does get a little fiddly, and I'm going to do a double crochet. Now we're going to go over here. And we're going to do that again. We're going to yarn over. I'm going to go through that stitch. And I'll tell you what's easier to do is go behind it and bring it up. I think that's how I did it. We're going to yarn over, come through, whoop, and make it a double crochet. So I've done it both ways. We showed it. I'm working one stitch be there. I don't want to work this stitch in front. So when I go into this stitch, I'm going to, whoop, this is why I like to doing it the other way around. And we're going to look at it here to see the difference. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go through our stitch. But we want to work this stitch in front of the one we just worked. So you bring it back up. But see how hard that is? So what I'm going to do is yarn over. I'm going to bring my hook behind it. So I can grab my yarn and do my crow double crochet in front. It's faster, and I think it's a little bit more slick on doing. That way you're not always fighting to manipulate your yarn into to come back up front. So we're wanting to do this cross stitch in front of that one. We want to always want to make sure we're skipping the right amount of stitches, and that we're only coming back and catching the empty one, the skipped one. And then we're going to do that next double crochet. Okay, so can you see how that crisscross is better back there? I think it works out better than me trying to force that to go in. And of course, as you build up, you get more of a definition. And that's what we're going to do all the way across. We're just going to always skip one, do a double crochet. I want my stitch to be in front, my cross stitch to be in front, so I'm going in behind. I'm going to grab my yarn, pull it through that stitch, and do my double crochet. Now that's how I do my cross stitch. Effect. Because unless it's an interlocking one, and I'll show you with this next one what the interlocking is. Interlocking is where we're going to be doing the same thing. We go in, yarn over, oops, I did, yarn over, bring in our hook, come up, come up. But when we go in, we can go in the front to the back, and we grab our yarn, and it wraps that one be around our stitch. And it really doesn't look that much different than these. So that is the cross stitch. And I hope that was helpful. Um, I'm going to... I think it's... Okay, see? And we want to make sure... See there, right there, was a mistake. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in there so I can show you because... I didn't end right. I put one of my stitches over here. So we're going to skip and put one in. We yarn over. And I'm going to get the right stitch this time. This is an interlocking one. 
and then if I don't want to interlock my stitches I yarn over I go behind my skip stitch just try to make it in that, that those top stitches grab my yarn pull it through and then I make it that way so you could do it either way whichever one you're comfortable with and I'm just going to alternate it and see if we can tell the difference between them because I don't think there's a big difference unless it affects your work ultimately in the end there's that one trying to make sure I get that right Interlocking is a faster way. Now we got their last two. And by then you're going to figure out which way you like best. Hopefully. And I'm going to end with the interlocking one. There we go. So there's our cross stitch and you can kind of see the difference this is our crossing over in front and this is the interlocking one i think it just puts it a little bit lower but as your project grows i think it'll get the shape so just so you can see the difference and choose which one you like if you want the interlocking one by all means it can go a little bit faster do that this is the crossover where i just picked it up from behind and that's where that is. Now, if you're continuing this, you're just going to chain one or chain two, depending on the stitch you're using, and just go ahead and continue that up there. And I'm sorry for my phone going off. All right, so there is the second stitch we are going to be using in our headband. I hope this has helped. Uh, if not, when we do the actual project, hopefully I explain it to you better or better understanding there. So I will see you later in the video when we're going to actually make our headband. Bye for now, guys.